This uh, playlist addresses a selected set of uh, fault detection examples and the first video offers an overview of the test protocol and test procedures that are uh, commonly used in these cases. Uh, after watching this presentation, you will be able to explain uh, the test protocol and the corresponding procedures uh, that are required to um, drive test vectors and capture the corresponding test responses. Uh, we will uh, use as example the uh, left non-boundary scan cluster in our demonstration board which is uh, surrounded by boundary scan cells of uh, devices belonging to test access port number one. So in this case we have uh, a, a set of uh, uh, output pins coming from the first device that uh, drive the uh, cluster inputs and uh, its outputs are captured by the uh, boundary scan device in the middle of the board. Our uh, test procedure consists of um, setting uh, IC3, the uh, left device, to work in external test mode since we will use its outputs to drive the test vectors and uh, set IC4, the device on the right, to sample preload mode since uh, we will only capture the responses through this device. As uh, a second step, we will consider that uh, the eight outputs of IC3 have been set to zero and uh, having done so, the question that we have to answer is are these five faults detected if all uh, IC3 outputs are set to zero? In order to answer this question we will have to uh, find out what is the uh, logic value present uh, in uh, most of the cluster pins and then uh, taking into account what are the fault detection conditions for each of these faults, we will be uh, able to answer this question. Well, these faults, uh, these faults are uh, either open or short faults. For example, uh, X1 is um, an open fault. If we remove this shunt, then uh, we will have a, an open connection in, from this pin to this input. On the other hand, uh, X2 is a short circuit, so this shunt here is normally removed and if we place it there then we will have short-circuited these two outputs. We can actually do it because the outputs are uh, protected and will be able to um, sustain a short circuit for a while without damaging the board. Uh, well, if we set all uh, outputs of IC3 to zero, what is the uh, logic patterns that we will have present in the cluster? This uh, first device is um, uh, a dual 2 to 4 decoder. And the way this device operates is that uh, provided that the enable pin is set to zero, then uh, these two select inputs will uh, determine which of the four outputs will be set to zero. The remaining outputs will be set to one. That is to say, if we drive zero, zero to these two inputs, then the first output will be driven to zero and the other three will be driven to one. And as we uh, increment the uh, pattern driven to the select inputs, the zero will move down until uh, when we drive one, one, then uh, it's uh, output one, y, three that uh, will be driven to zero and the other three will be driven to one. Now the same happens in the uh, second half of this device because as I said this is a dual decoder so internally it has two uh, decoders and this is simply an inverter. 
So uh, if we set all outputs to zero here, then uh, we will have zeros applied to these inputs and again applied to these inputs, meaning that it will be one y zero output that will be at zero and two y zero output that will be at zero as well. All the other outputs will be driven to one and those going through the inverter will uh, be driven to 1 or to 0 according to the uh, value of their inputs. So let's start by considering x1. What is the uh, fault detection condition for an open fault? Well, a floating input in uh, uh, bipolar logic is normally taken as a 1, meaning that uh, if we um, drive a 0 uh, and if this input is floating, then it will be taken as a 1 instead of as a 0. So the fault detection condition consists of driving a zero if we want to find out if this open circuit is present. Notice that if we drive a one, it makes no difference if the input is floating because it will capture the same logic value as if the shunt had been present there. So, uh, well, when it comes to short circuits, and we can reason about that right now, um, what will happen is that um, if um, uh, we want to find out if this short circuit is present, what we have to do is to drive uh, opposite logic values to both pins. Well, if the short is there, then one of these two pins will, be, uh, will dominate the uh, short circuit. And if we assume that the zero is the dominating logic value, then by driving zero, one, then we will uh, actually have two zeros if the short circuit is there. And then we will capture two ones instead of capturing uh, one zero at these inputs. So being aware of what are the fault detection conditions for uh, opens and shorts, it will be easy to answer this question. In what concerns x1, uh, x1 comes from this node and this node will be at 1. Uh, since it is at 1, uh, the uh, value driven is no different from what would be captured when the input is floating, so x1 is not detected. In what concerns x2? Well, in this case we are driving uh, opposite logic values, so we are creating the fault detection condition and x2 uh, may actually be detected. In what concerns X3, X3 is another short circuit and uh, this value will be driven to uh, 1, but this other uh, pin will be driven to 0 because we are driving all zeros to the outputs of IC3, meaning that we have a 0 here and a 1 there. And uh, uh, since the 0 is stronger, instead of uh, uh, capturing a zero here, which is the inverted logic of one, it is likely that we will capture a one and the uh, X3 fault will be detected as well. Uh, X6 is um, again an open um, fault and in this case again it will likely not be detected because we are driving a 1 to this output and uh, then it will make no difference if the input is floating or not because it is if it is floating it will capture a 1 anyway so x6 is uh, probably not detected finally x14 is uh, a rather awkward fault because it shortens um, a signal pin to a scan pin coming from the boundary scan infrastructure. Well, if we consider that uh, the um, uh, dominant zero still applies, then uh, it is likely that this fault will be detected because this uh, pin will be set to zero. 
and if this pin is set to zero then it will probably interfere with the uh, shifting of any um, test vectors through the boundary scan chain and by doing so um, an error will be detected.